wait. Oh, oh Ranger Cookie. And this is called the Poor Man version of leather. Poor man's leather, basically. Uh, basically, what I used to do when I was a kid, I'll go out and find these old uh, uh, furniture. And it had leather on it. And I'll peel it off and I'll go home and use a staple gun to make my sheaves. Because I was poor. So this is called a poor man leather. And I'm making a sheaf for my new knife I got from the flea market up the road. For two dollar. How much two dollar? How much two dollar? So I got this piece of leather on one of my videos called... Uh, Using Trash to Survive, number 11. Go check it out if you'd like. This is where I got that big piece of leather off a chair. And it's real thin. It's it's real thin. It's not thick. And uh, it's called Poor Man Leather for a reason. But I'm going to make it a sheaf. So the things you need is one big heavy-duty staple gun, a Coke bottle, or some type of plastic that you can find in trash, Cutting tool, baby, and the item that you're going to use to make the sheath. What you want to do is cut the sheath, the plastic, as big as the knife, where you can fold it over. Uh, you want to fold it over and give it a little overlap, and you want to make it just as long as the knife. Square it off like I did. Now, what I want to do is staple with the heavy duty staple gun. I might want to staple that with the, the leather, so. All right. What's the poor man, uh, man's leather? Well, when you go out and find some trash in a yard or a leather old couch, they got tons of leather on it. I got more leather at the bottom. And I'll go and I'll pick it all up. Now, you say, why do you want to use that thin leather to make a sheath. Well, most of the time you want to make it real thick, but taking this plastic Coke bottle, or well, I got it off of this little plastic container I had some lights in, and voila. Let's see now. Might need also a cutting board. Are you watching me? Let's take a look. <laughs> Really? There you go, right there. Alright, we got the piece we need. Uh, who was it? Coyote or Wolf? Or coyote or Wolf? You finally get to see what I use that leather for. And I'll just throw my piece of <laughs> plastic away. Damn you, boy! Alright, where's my piece of plastic? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Damn you, boy! Alright, now, it was saying you want a big piece, let's see, how do I want to make my leather sheet? Uh, I can make that the opening. Why it's called the poor man? Because you can't afford the good stuff, so you have to go buy the crap, uh, find the crap to to work. <laughs> to work. Now, this plastic piece of plastic is going to protect your leather from getting all cut up as you put in it in and out. That's why it's called the poor man's leather. Now, let's see if I can maybe fold this over and staple it. Remember, the staple gun has to be a heavy-duty staple gun. This is a heavy-duty staple gun. <laughs> And it goes to 65 sheets of paper. 
That's how heavy duty this thing is. You can't just go buy a normal paper staple gun. You gotta buy a damn staple gun that goes through 60, 60 pieces of paper or more. Because you're going through leather. The poor man's leather. There you go. Now, I got to get all that plastic sheet and leather all lined up. your knife inside so you don't make sure everything's nice and neat even This is what I used to do when I was a kid, because I couldn't afford high-end leather. You might sound this is not practical, though, but hey, this is the poor man leather. Like I, uh, like I said, you go out and you find some leather, or a, a leather couch, a leather, some type of seat, and you just staple the leather together if you can't sew like I can't <laughs> I use a heavy duty staple gun and see if I could I, if I want I can make this where I could put a bigger knife in it's probably what I'm going to do I'll make it where I can put a bigger knife Only thing I can't do because uh, the bigger knife because I got uh, the uh, leather in there. Now, oop. there we go. One poor man's uh, knife sheath, and I like to keep that size. So what I'm gonna do is just fold it over, try to wrap it up a little bit. Make sure my knife can go in. Let's see if I can staple that. And then go all the way through, but it worked. <laughs> like most people have to work on stuff like this but there you go one poor man's leather sheath now I feel something at the bottom I should uh, put I forgot to wrap it over did you boy so I have to take these staples out because I messed up <laughs> oh, Lord, right. and put a bottom stabber all right I got my little cupping board See, always put a bottom and check all your ins and outs before you staple your complete staple your your knife blade. All right, so I have to make a uh, let's see right here. You know who got me? To make this, Donnie Paolo Nini made a little sheath for his 
went by his house and he was making a loose sh uh, sheaf for his axe. I thought that was cool. I'm like, what you making me a sheaf for this? Oh no, this takes forever. <laughs> That's why I like the poor man's version. You just do what you want. You don't have to obey the rules. Alright. Now, it has a bottom so I can slide it in there and not have to worry about the, the uh, poking that hole with the bottom of the uh, sheath. And I made it long enough so I can put any knife in there. And later on, if I want, I can move it, open it up, and move it down. So I'm going to do a fold. See if I can staple it somewhere. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to staple it all the way down. And I got that little plastic thing, so it's going to stop it from where it's at. As long as I put a stick or two. Ow! Got the staples on the wrong side. There you go, the poor man's uh, leather sheath. If you, for these young guys who can't afford $50,000 leather. <laughs> You can go with the poor man's version. Just go out and find your old leather seat, old leather chair. Get a good heavy duty staple gun. Now the staple gun didn't cost me much. 20 bucks, but yet I just staple it. Staple the, uh, where I need it. And voila, the poor man's sheath. I hope you enjoy this short video. I hope you come back and see more. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because I'll read your cookie. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy the poor man's leather shape. I mean, I, I, I'm not outside. I can't spin.